Great. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, good to see you. Uh, all right. Welcome back to another episode of Question and Answer. We're going to be answering all the questions we didn't get to in our first video. Let's get right into it. Next question is from Soph. Uh, it's, what was the biggest struggle in lifting for you? Um, yeah, so for me, the biggest struggle that I faced when I was lifting that I didn't realize until months later was just really with my form. Um, not putting enough emphasis on my form and my technique. Um, my first like three or four months of lifting, I was doing all the exercises. I thought I was doing everything I could have and I almost had this like arrogance of like, I know best, you know, like I, I'm doing everything perfectly. Like I don't need to correct anything. And then like months later, you know, learned, okay, maybe my elbows should have been tucked in more. Maybe I shouldn't have been using my traps as much or, or using momentum. And things like that with your form um, are so, so important to effectively target your muscles. Um, and yeah, that's something I wish, I wish my, my uh, when I started off lifting, I wish I knew that. Um, form is everything, guys. Form is everything. Next question's from Emily. She asks, where do you get inspiration and motivation to do everything that you do? Uh, that's a really good question. Um, for me, honestly, it's, it's just this, this mindset and this idea that you know I need and I will become the absolute best version of myself in every aspect of my life. Um, and you know the only way to really do that is to stick, stick to a plan, come up with a plan, and then you know every single day you wake up and you, you know you have that overall plan in mind. But each day you wake up, just take it one day at a time and think, okay, what am I gonna do in this day? How am I gonna maximize my productivity in these 24 hours of the day? I mean, not 24, but like 18, 17, whatever. How am I gonna maximize my productivity and get everything I possibly can uh, done in this day? Um, and uh, yeah, I think just taking it one step at a time like that has really helped me with not getting overwhelmed, not stressing out too much and just staying consistent really. Cause it's a lot easier to, to look at it as like, okay, I just need to do what I, I just need to do my job just this one day, you know, versus like, okay, I need to do my job every day for the next five years, you know, like that's overwhelming, but one day at a time, it's, it's a lot easier on the mental. Next question's from Colin. He said, what do you listen to while you work out? Any specific songs or artists? Um, yeah, so I, I really like to listen to funk, you know, like some really upbeat gym music, like some, a lot of, a lot of the, the songs are like from like TikTok edits or something like that. It's just like, you know, that kind of like Sigma, you know, mindset of just like, ah, you know, like raw energy, raw power, just in music, uh, which is like what the, the whole funk category feels like to me. Um, I have a really good playlist on uh, Spotify. It's called We Go Gym. I'll, uh, I'll link it in the description of this video. But yeah, if I really want to push till failure and go hard at the gym, you know, I gotta have, I gotta have some really crazy, upbeat, exciting music to just keep me pumped up, you know? Next question's from Aaron. He said, I struggle a lot when I try to train to failure. Uh, do you have any tips to help me push my limits more? Okay, this is a really good question and it's something that honestly I've discovered in the last two or three months, really, because, um, you know, obviously training to failure, putting like high in intensity into your workouts is very important. Um, and, you know, when you're actually doing resistance training, once you get to that point of like, okay, I'm a little bit tired, it's so easy to just like let your ego win and be like, okay, you know, I'm gonna call it there, I did enough, you know. But you really, that that limit is so arbitrary and you can push so much further. One of the ways that I'm able to push till failure while I'm training is uh, to use a technique that uh, David Goggins talks about in his book, Can't Hurt Me. Um, obviously great read i would i would like highly recommend that you guys read that um but uh he talks about the sympathetic nervous system and how it's so tied into your fight or flight reflex um which is like will we'll give you adrenaline to like push further in your exercises in your workout um and he talks about one of the ways that you're able to activate this sympathetic nervous system is by actively like remembering and looking back and putting yourself in the same in the same shoes as you were in like some of the most traumatic, tough and, and hard experiences you've been through. Um, so like for me personally, when I'm trying to push till failure, I put myself in the same exact moment when I tore my Achilles as a gymnast and realized, you know, my athletic career as a gymnast is done. 
super upsetting, super frustrating, and really enraging, honestly, just because I'd been dealing with a lot that year. Um, and I try and really feel how I felt in that moment. And just like putting myself in that place brings my heart rate up, gives me an adrenaline rush, and I'm able to really keep pushing further than if I would have just, you know, let my ego win and, and drop the weight. Um, so yeah, whatever hard things you guys have experienced, try and really channel that into your training um, and use it for your advantage because it's a powerful tool. Next question is from Dark Skin Warrior. They said, what's the hardest part about being a creator for you? I'd say the hardest part about being a creator is probably um, trying to really not let other people's opinions get to you and let like comments, negative comments, negative, um, negative feedback get to you um, at the end of the day, just cause you know, everybody's gonna try and hate on you if sometimes just for the hell of it, just to like tear you down, even if you know, it's coming out of, it's coming out of like jealousy or something like that. Um, and it, I have struggled in the past of like letting that get to me, letting that affect my, my mental health and, and just like my overall confidence, you know, um, which I think I've been better at the last like year or two. But uh, yeah, that, that is just, that's probably the hardest part for me is just like really trying to ignore the hate, ignore the, the negativity um, when you know, all I'm really trying to do is, is spread positivity. Um, so yeah, that can be tough sometimes, but it's not too bad. Next question is from Cooper. He said, how do you stay so organized and productive while being super focused? Um, so yeah, that's, that's a good question. Um, so for me, it's like you have to organize your time and plan your time accordingly. So you're doing all these different tasks, you're doing what you have to throughout the day, but you need to remember in all those little tasks that you're doing, okay, like let's say I'm gonna work on editing this video for an hour or 45 minutes, whatever time block you're in, make sure that during that time block, during those 45 minutes, you're not scrolling on Instagram, you're not texting your friends, your phone's off and you're just, you're dialed in and you're focusing, you're putting 100% effort into what you're doing. Um, and that's, that's like the biggest thing is to just make sure you're, you're giving it your all, all the time throughout the day. Uh, yeah. Next question is from Soapy Penguin. He said, I recently stopped gymnastics and started lifting. I'm pretty new to it. Any general tips to help me along the way? Um, yeah, so for me, when I retired from gymnastics and started lifting, I almost had this like arrogance and just confidence as to like, okay, I know best, I'm doing everything I need to be doing. I don't need to look that far into it. That's not always the case. Um, so for you, I, what, what I recommend myself too, um, is to just like really prioritize your form, make sure 100% you know what you're doing, you know what you're targeting, what muscles you're targeting. And uh, yeah, make sure you're using good form and do your research on all the exercises that uh, are gonna most effectively help you grow whatever whatever muscles you're looking to grow. Um, but yeah, just you know, do the research and put a lot of focus into your training. Next question is from Gabe. He said, "What are your plans for 2024?" Yeah, so I uh, I recently graduated finally from undergrad at Illinois um, about a month ago, and now I'm planning to move to Los Angeles in about three weeks i'm heading out there i'm actually driving from illinois to uh cali so that's going to be a very fun drive um but uh yeah i applied i finished applying a few months ago to all the phd programs for marine biology that i'm trying to get into so i'll hear back in march or april um, but in the meantime for the, at least the next six months to eight months to nine months um excuse that voice crack but uh, yeah, for the next couple months, I'll be doing just full-time social media and bodybuilding in uh, Los Angeles. So yeah, I'm, I'm super excited for that. Ex excited for this next chapter and uh, really can't wait to, uh, to finally be in Cali. Um, it's always been a dream of mine to be able to surf in the winter. Uh, I've, I've been uh, surfing since I was 12 or 13 um, and Cali obviously is a great spot for it. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to, to pick that back up. Uh, I haven't surfed since two summers ago because I couldn't last summer because of my Achilles. But uh, yeah, that's the plan for 2024. Next question is from Meatball. He said, uh, what is your favorite five day split? Um, so if for just five days, I would, uh, the five day split that I most enjoy that I've seen the best results from is gonna be day one, uh, quad focus leg day, as well as abs. Then day two, chest and shoulders. 
Day three is just a big, a full back day. Day four and then is gonna be uh, uh, arm day. So triceps, biceps, and forearms. Um, and then day five, rest. Uh, yeah, I, I like that a lot more. I like, honestly, I've seen the best growth in my arms when I started giving myself just an individual arm day, just cause I always hated training triceps after chest and shoulders or biceps after back, just cause my forearms or my triceps or biceps were already fatigued. So it's like, I just felt like I wasn't getting as much as I could out of uh, my arm day workouts. Next question is from Nat Hearn. Uh, he said, Dylan, please help. I'm trying to get fit, but I don't have time because of school. What should I do in this case? Um, yeah, man, so honestly, either get really good at time, time management. So like right after school, plan time to work out before you do your homework or plan time to go work out after you finish your homework, whatever. Um, or another thing you can do is you're gonna just, if you're super busy after school, you're gonna just have to learn how to become an early morning person, which uh, a lot of people who don't have enough time to go to the gym do, which, which is something that a lot of people who don't have enough time to go to the gym uh, do. Um, so like if you have school at seven, get up at five, go do a body weight workout at home, go for a run, whatever, before you have to go to school um, or actually go to the gym at 5 a.m. Like that's, if you really don't have time throughout your day, um, that's gonna be your best bet um, to make sure you're getting in a workout each day. Next question is from Lucas. He said, I was wondering if you have any advice on how to be the best person I can be. Um, yeah, so honestly, one, one thing that I would really recommend for this is uh, to just, Obviously, you know, work on yourself, make a plan for yourself to work for the, for a certain amount of time. Um, but along that journey, just make sure that like, you know, you see a lot of stuff on social media or a lot of people that are maybe in a better position than you, you know, and it's really easy to compare yourself to others um, and to look at yourself, to look at your own physique and be like, okay, I'm not as big as this guy on social media or this guy at my school you know, like I'm not doing well. Um, and that's such a big fallacy that people fall into is like validating their own progress just based on somebody else's progress, you know. Um, everybody's different, you know, everybody's timeline is different. So really the only person that you need to be comparing yourself to is who you were yesterday, who you were the day before, um, the week before, the, the, the month before, you know. If you're improving in that sense, then you know that's you're doing your job and you're doing everything that you can do. Um, so you know just stick to that and really just try and shut out the noise and just focus focus on this one path. You know and it's just you versus you, you versus who you were yesterday. Um, and yeah, try that out and I, I think that should help a lot. And it looks like we're out of time again, folks. Again, leave some comments with any questions I didn't get to or any new questions. And uh, yeah, love you guys. Appreciate all the support and I'll see you on the next one.